Hello, hope you guys are having a great day. Wanted to uh, share some hauls that I have picked up. This is going to be a collective haul, just a few things from random places that I thought I would share. So I'm going to hop right in and uh, share what I have grabbed. Okay, so first up, I have these adorable little charms. I got these on Amazon and um, I will put the link in the comments below or the description below if these are still available. I'll tell you when I ordered them, there was only like two sets left. Um, I have not found them anywhere else, uh, but you get, I think, 30 in a bag for like $10. Um, they were a little more expensive than I typically pay for this type of charm, but uh, they're so cute and I, I couldn't find them anywhere else. So I went ahead and grabbed them. They're going to be so cute for Valentine's Day. They are these little hearts. They're called um, red heart charms is what they're called. So again, I'll put the link to Amazon down in the description if there are any still available so you can grab them if you want. Um, if I ever find them anywhere else, I'll be sure to let you guys know. All right, then I went over to Hobby Lobby and I picked up just a few things there. I grabbed some of these envelopes, which everybody is grabbing. I think they had these last year too, but for some reason I didn't get them. So I went ahead and picked some up this year. They were 40% off when I grabbed them, so $5.99 and 40% off of that. And it looks like you get 30 in each bag. I got two bags, so that will last me a very long time, I am sure. I picked up these uh, die cut hearts. It looks like you get 90 pieces. Again, they were 40% off when I grabbed them. Uh, so I thought those would be good layering pieces. Uh, I picked up some of this ribbon. This is such a great deal. It's 10 yards. Again, 40% off. You can't beat that. So this is a uh, red gingham. And if I don't use this for Valentine's Day, I can use it for Christmas or summer crafting. This looks really cute with like strawberry themed projects. So um, again, for 10 yards, you can't beat that. And then I grabbed this one, which has these sort of kind of glittery metallic type hearts on it and um, 10 yards again on that. So I went ahead and picked up some of that. And then this is the thing I'm most excited about from Hobby Lobby are these little envelopes. So I happened to just walk by these. They were part of the, I don't know, in my store, they're in the middle section where sort of the stationary uh, things are like pencil holders and, you know, novelty pens and things like that. Um, and these are just some um, like thick plastic envelopes. They've got a snap closure. They're polka dot. Um, these are not on sale, but uh, this was a dollar. And for a dollar, I thought it was just so cute. So I grabbed three of the small ones. Again, probably use these for like swaps. Uh, this is the larger size. This one was also a dollar here. You can probably find these online as well. Um, <clears throat> this is like a business envelope size. And it has the Velcro uh, closure. And so, again, I thought that would be really fun. They're flat. They're not uh, gusseted or anything. These are flat envelopes. And then for also 99 cents, they had the zipper envelope. So I grabbed that one, too. And uh, it has just sort of a plastic zipper pouch there. And it's clear on one side and then polka dot on the other. And this is about a business envelope of size as well. A little, a little skinnier this way. Um, but anyways, I just thought those were super cute. I got three of each. That was all they had in stock. I probably would have bought more just because they're really cute and I haven't seen these before. And these are great for all kinds of occasions, birthday, Valentine's day, Halloween. Um, I use polka dots on all kinds of projects. So I picked those up because I thought they were so adorable. Okay, then I stopped over at Dollar Tree and I picked up some foam mounting tape. I really like this tape because it's super thin, so you can add dimension to your projects without putting a lot of dimension on the projects. So I grabbed this and then I grabbed this one, which has the different sized rolls. Um, I feel like you can never have too much of that in my stash. So I picked those up and then I grabbed uh, these little um, felt... Um, <clears throat> 
carrots. Uh, my stores around me, I'm down here in uh, the south, uh, we don't put out uh, the stuff as quickly as they do usually up north. So uh, we don't have a lot of Easter stuff out. It's mostly still Valentine's Day. But I did find these and I thought they were cute. So I just picked up a pack of these. They're felt stickers. They are pretty thin, but they look pretty good quality. So I went ahead and grabbed those. And then I picked up a roll of this ribbon uh, here. This is pretty thin, not super high quality ribbon, but I think I can still make it work and I can use this for Easter or for birthday probably. So I just grabbed one roll of that. I picked up this tissue paper. I thought this was super cute. They only had one pack. Um, it says that you get four prints, four sheets of the print and six of the solid. So I picked that up for like swaps and things like that. I picked up these, uh, Ziploc or off-brand, I guess, these uh, zipper bags. So if you get the ones with the watermelons on them, um, they are 14 by 16, and these are big enough to hold your 12 by 12 paper collections. So this is what I use. Um, five for $1.25 is a pretty good deal, and um, I just put all of my collections in each of these, at least the smaller ones that I have where that will fit. So I did that, and then i um, super excited to find these stickers. Um, I think I've seen a couple people post these. Uh, they are adorable. These are definitely American Craft Designs. I'm assuming that Dollar Tree purchased these designs online or somewhere from the creator, uh, illustrator, and then created the stickers. But these go with an older um, paper collection from American Crafts. I want to say maybe a Pebbles collection. And I can't remember what it is. And I've dug through my stash and I can't find it. But I absolutely know I have some pieces to this collection. So I'm going to be keep looking for those. Um, but I know for sure I have this because I remember these and these flowers and this little bee and this milk and cookies. So um, I was excited to find these. These will be a cute addition to the collection I already have. Okay, and last but not least, I stopped over at Walmart and peeked at the Valentine's Day stuff. I really didn't see anything there that I thought was uh, super amazing. Uh, but I did pick up these Valentine's treat bags. They're the holographic sort of pink tinted clear bags. There's 12 pieces for $2. Um, these are great for Valentine's Day or also Halloween. So uh, I went ahead and picked these up while they're available. I don't know if you can really tell the color online, but they're cute and that's a pretty good price for 12 of them. So, and they're pretty good size. And then I also picked up this glitter. I've been looking for this glitter at Walmart forever. They're always sold out of it. Um, this is the Chunky... Uh, Party Bent Blend Glitter Snowy Surprise is the color, and it's basically just chunky, clear glitter, and it just looks beautiful on everything. So I was really excited. They only had one container of it, um, but I did finally find it, so uh, I was excited about that. So thanks for stopping by. I hope you guys have a great day, and I will talk to you later. Bye.